Show you that all the uh, skippers coming in. Unfortunately, I'm on a little dipole laying almost five feet off the ground on me, so my chances of getting to anybody are really, really slim to none. But this is the Browning S23 transmitter. As you can see, it's in really nice condition. Uh, little microphone. It's not a Browning mic. It's in really good shape, really good condition. Uh, all the contacts were cleaned. In the whole radio was gone over. Everything was cleaned. Uh, Electrolytic capacitors were changed. Full alignment was done. Uh, as you can see, the key and uh, sound average audio. And we'll uh, go over to Pep here. Audio. Hello. Audio. I'm getting about 14 watts out of it with the swing, and uh, here you go. Nice sign. No clipping. Audio modulation. One, two, one, two. Hello. Well, there you go. You see, we got a good one going. Uh, all the lights are functioning. Test, test, one, two, one, two. Uh, let's see. Uh, forward reflect is working. The spot is working. So I tell people when they do the spot on this, put it over to narrow. So you want to find uh, 11. I can't do this too good with uh, one hand, but let me just show you. So now you're going to hit the spot key with it on narrow, volume down. All right. There you go, you get right on. Go back to your band, turn the volume back up. Dead on, everything aligns perfectly, all the channels work, all the crystals were checked. The uh, switch was removed and cleaned, all the tubes were taken out, clean, sockets were cleaned, uh, all the tubes checked 95% and higher. Relay was cleaned, as you can see, it's all original Browning Transformers. Same over here, everything was uh, clean. There's no mica disease inside that I saw. I took all the covers off to take a peek in there. And uh, put some new light bulbs in just so you get another 10 years out of them light bulbs. Uh, everything looks good. I left the original filter cap in. Uh, it's not hooked up. I snipped on the bottom and the capacitors were installed on the bottom just to keep it looking original on the top. Uh, the only modification that was done to this is the power. Instead of it having four watts, it's up to about six watts. One of the uh, resistors has jumped out in there. Uh, normally, I don't like that because it'll supply too much voltage to your tubes. But I checked the voltage at the tubes with the modification in there, and you're getting good voltage. It's just about hitting at 300 max mark, but it isn't hitting it. So as long as you're not one of them guys that keys up on it for 15, 20 minutes... You know, playing music and being annoying, you you'd be good to go. But as you can see, I mean, this thing's clean, boy. Um, I'll put some pictures up. You can look at the pictures. Eleven, the skip is rolling in. I wish I, I had my. Uh, I don't even have my radio hooked up. You can see I'm over there hooking everything up. I just haven't had a chance yet this is a brand new location we just got to so uh that's it guys in this sweet little radio again if you have any questions feel free to ask i'd be happy to answer you know the best that i can so uh 73s and god bless stay safe